This is the notes for section 12.7, the AA and SAS triangle similarity theorems. If you haven't done so already, please stop the video at this time and read the sections before continuing on. Um, so in 12.6, we established that uh, SSS or side, side, side was a triangle similarity theorem. And when we did that, we said that if all three sides were proportional, if, in other words, if the ratio between all three sides that corresponded with each other were the same, then we could say that those triangles had to be similar to each other. Well, we're going we're gonna to look at two more today. Uh, the first one is the angle-angle similarity theorem. And that just says that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another, then the triangles are similar. A couple things that I want to kind of just highlight from that statement. Um, we're talking about congruent. Remember, when we're similar triangles, the angles are congruent. Notice how I didn't need three. I only needed two angles. Because in a triangle, if we know two angles, we automatically know the third angle. So by knowing that we have two angles that are congruent, we actually know that all three angles are congruent because whatever the, the third one would have to be the same in both triangles because we could subtract the other two from 180. So let's take a look at this first example. It says in this diagram, ST, that line segment, is parallel to the line segment QR. Name the theorem that proves that the pair of triangles are similar and provide a similarity statement. So let's do that. So there's two things that I need to do. I need to name, uh, name the theorem that says that they're similar, and I need to provide a similarity statement. So we, got, we want to do both of those. Now, to do that, I have to kind of first establish um, a, a few things. If these lines are parallel, I know that angle S and angle Q are congruent because they're corresponding angles. So I can say angle S is congruent to angle Q because they're corresponding angles. And I can also say angle T is congruent to angle R because they're corresponding angles. Because these lines are parallel, therefore corresponding angles have to be congruent to each other. So I can say T is congruent to R. That's also corresponding angles. And I'm not looking for a, a uh, exact proof here. I'm just kind of trying to justify why this is the case. So now, since I have, and I should be a little bit careful because those all four of them aren't congruent. Since I have two pairs of angles that are congruent, I can use I can use angle angle to say that the two triangles are congruent. So I'm going to say triangle P S T is similar to, I think I said congruent, I meant similar, is similar to triangle, now we've got to have the, the ones that correspond to each other, P, Q, R. There's your similarity statement. So here is a similarity statement. We'll have to be able to write those. And we're going to justify that with the angle-angle similarity theorem. <laughs> So let's take a look at the second example then. It says, it is reported that a giant redwood tree casts a shadow that is 21 meters long at the same time that a vertical pole 400 centimeters tall casts a shadow that is 90 centimeters long. How tall was the tree? Okay, so some key things here is that this occurs at the same time. And when we think about shadows, if, if, they're, if they're happening at the same time, that means that the angle that the sun makes with the ground has to be the same for both of them. So what I want to do is I want to think about that vertical pull. It's going to cast a shadow. It's going to form a right angle. And I know the angle that the sun makes with the ground has to be the same as it is when I'm looking at that tall tree. And I'm not drawing these to scale here. I'm just going to give you an idea 
therefore that also would have to be a right angle and the angle that it makes with the ground is the same so what that tells me is that those two triangles have to be similar to each other so what I want to do now is I want to label those so if this if this first one is 400 centimeters well um, since some of this is in meters and some of it is centimeters, I want to convert everything so that it's in one of those units. I think it's going to be probably easiest since I'm looking for how tall the tree is. I'm going to probably want to have that in meters. So let's um, let's write everything in terms of meters. So the 400 centimeter pole that would be remember there's a hundred a hundred centimeters in a meter. Therefore, this is four meters and the shadow is 90 centimeters long which would be 0.9 meters now if I look at the tree I know this is 21 meters and I'm looking for this okay so we've established by angle angle that these these two triangles that have to be congruent to each other therefore I can set up a proportion to solve for what I'm looking for so I can say and, and I'm going to look at comparison between sides so I know this side and this side correspond with each other so I can say 0.9 over 21 is equal to and now I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the other two sides 4 over X so I've got corresponding sides within the same ratio so now I'm going to cross multiply 0.9x equals 4 times 21 and then if I divide both sides by 0.9 I will have the height of my tree and if I do that I get 93 and 1 third or 93.3 repeating um, and that was meters so that would represent the height of that tree. Okay, our second similarity um, theorem that we want to look at in this section is SAS or side angle side similarity theorem. And that just says in two triangles, if the ratios of two pairs of corresponding sides are equal and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So they have to have the included mean the angle between the sides has to be congruent so the included angles are congruent and it has to have two pair of corresponding sides in which the ratios are equal <laughs>so let's take a look at this next example then it says if two triangles are congruent give a similarity statement and a similarity theorem that justifies your conclusion so we want to determine if the two triangles shown here are congruent so we're looking at the two triangles that we're looking at here are triangle ABC and triangle and I'm going to put the vertices in the same order here ADE so if they're congruent that the, the vertices that I have lined up would would be the ones that would have to correspond with each other well what that tells me right away is that we know that their angle A's have to be congruent to each other because they're the exact same angle so what we want to do now is see if we can use the side angle side similarity theorem uh, to, to prove that they are congruent and, and to do that, I'm, I'm going to look at the, the ratios between corresponding sides. Therefore, if I look at AB compared to AD, that ratio should be exactly the same as AC compared to AE. Okay. Well, AB is 8 and AD would have to be 8 plus 5 or 13 and then I'm going to look at AC which is 6 compared to AE which would be 9.75 okay so if I cross multiply there I have 13 times 6 it would have to be if they if they are 
um, similar to each other, that would have to be equal to 8 times 9.75. So if I multiply both of those out, I know that they are both equal to 78. Therefore, I can make the statement that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE, and I can use side angle side to justify that statement. So we've been relating triangle congruence and triangle similarity quite a bit through this chapter. And, and if you remember from triangle congruences, we had the four main triangle congruences, side side side, side angle side, angle side angle, and angle angle side. Well, each triangle congruence theorem has a counterpart triangle similarity theorem. Uh, in the triangle similarity theorems, A still denotes a pair of congruent angles, but the difference is, is that S denotes ratios of corresponding sides. So as you can see, side to side and side angle side each have their own counterpart, but angle side angle and angle angle side together make up angle angle when we look at it from a similarity standpoint. Mm -hmm.